In this video, I'm going to talk about the C-sharp access modifiers, public, private, and protected. All right, the public access modifier means that the data member is accessible inside and outside of the class. The public modifier is the most open of the access modifiers. The private access modifier means that the data member is only accessible inside the class. And the protected modifier means that the data member is accessible inside the class and in any derived classes. So if you have a class with a protected data member and you inherit from that class, you have access to the protected data members, but not the private. All right, these access modifiers can be used with fields, properties, and methods. Let's look at a quick example. So I have a I created a, a generic class here named my base class. And in this class, I've created three fields, one that is set to public, one that is set to private, one that is set to protected. And then I've created three properties, a public, private, and protected property. And here I have three method shells, a public method, a private method, and a protected method. So let's see how we can access uh, or where we can access which type of uh, data members. So if I go to my program class, we said that public data members are accessible everywhere. They should be accessible outside the class and inside the class. So if I go to my program here and I create an instance of my base class, so we'll say new my base class, create a, a my base class object, and I look at the data members, I notice I only see my public data members, my public field, my public method, and my public property. The private data members and the protected data members are not accessible outside of the class. Now, let's create a class that inherits from my base class. So I'm going to go to project, add a class, and I'm going to name this class derived class. In our derived class, we will inherit from my base class. So let's see what is available here. I'm going to make a, t a little test method. And if I try to access any of my public values, notice I, I have access to my public fields, my public method, public property. All public, public data members are accessible outside the class, inside the class, and in derived classes. If I go to protected, here I have access to my protected data members as well. In my program class, I did not have access to protected data members, but because the derived class inherits from my base class, we have access to those protected data members in the derived class. Now, how about my private data members? So here I start trying to type private. I, I have no access to them. The private data members inside my base class, even though we derived from the class, we do not have access to private data members. And so finally, in my base class itself, I should have access to everything. Both public, protected, and private are accessible inside the class in which they are created. We will create a little test method here and verify this. So if I try to get any of my public data members, I have access inside the class. Any protected data members, I have access to them inside the class and any private data members I have access inside the class. So in summary, public data members are only acce are accessible everywhere. Private data members are only accessible inside the class itself. And protected data members are the next step up. Protected data members are accessible inside the class and in any derived classes.